The COVID-19 pandemic has forced the world to undergo a lot of changes, particularly in the way things get done. In one of my previous videos, I have discussed the problem of seafarers being stranded on board ships, unable to go home even though months have passed since their contracts have expired. This is due to countries which enforced lockdowns and prohibited crew changes. This policy greatly affected the mental welfare of those who were stuck on board their ships which, in extreme cases, even led to a few incidents of suicides among the stranded crew members. It also affected the livelihood of those who were supposed to relieve them, as they in turn were forced to extend their stay on land, unemployed, no income, and with very little or even no financial aid from the government. Thankfully, after pressure from the International Maritime Organization and the shipping industry as a whole, some countries which were previously on lockdown gradually started opening up and developed procedures to allow ships to conduct crew change. One of these procedures is the COVID testing for the crew, which, among other things, will be part of what is now being called the new normal. Hello guys, so just a quick update. I'm actually scheduled to go back on board the ship next week. So I'm done with my medical checkups and all my documents, but there's just one last thing to do, which is to get myself tested for COVID. So I'm heading to Manila right now. Okay, so we're here right now near the clinic. I'm gonna go fall in line for the medical test, for the COVID test. My company scheduled me to undergo the RT-PCR, which stands for Reverse Transcription Polymerase Chain Reaction Test, which was developed to rapidly detect the coronavirus. It's more commonly referred to as a swab test. In simple terms, a probe is inserted into your nostrils. This probe will reach all the way to your nasopharynx, which is the area around the upper part of the throat behind the nose, where it will swab for samples. <laughs> it's not really painful, but it does cause some discomfort, especially since none of us are really used to having a stick shoved deep into our nostrils. It sort of triggers a paranoia of an invasive thing forcefully entering through your nose. <laughs> anyway, the results came in a few days later and thankfully the test came out negative which means I'm all set to join my ship. Okay, so it has been a few days since I've finished with the swab test. A few days from now, I'll be signing on to my next vessel. So I'm right now at the office for my dispatch or final briefing. I was asked to report to the office for my dispatch and as you can see, our office has been implementing social distancing protocols. As usual, I was briefed by my technical superintendent on the current status of the ship, and immediately after, my documents were checked one by one and finally handed over to me. Last thing on the list was my working gear. As soon as I have checked that everything was complete, I was all set to go home and prepare for my flight. So guys, this is officially Season 3 Episode 1 
of my seafarer vlogs. I just thought it would be interesting to start things from here because this is an unusual time for all of us. Like I said earlier, this pandemic has forced us to change the way we do things and for the maritime industry in particular, it has been forced to adapt to these circumstances in a very drastic way. This new normal thing has taken a very big toll on many companies, but I am very very thankful to my company for being resilient for us, their crew, and all their employees during this difficult time. From the onset of the lockdowns, they've been doing their very best to look after the welfare of their people, whether shore-based, the crew stuck on board their ships, and even those who were stranded in Manila during the lockdown. They've also exerted a lot of effort to make crew changes possible even at a very high cost. And for that, I am very proud to say that I belong to a company that truly cares for its people. Not all companies can claim that. I believe each and every one of the seafaring and shore-based personnel in our company have similar sentiments. So, in behalf of everyone, thank you very, very much. You know who you are. So the next episode will be about my travel until I reach a ship. Again, it's going to be quite interesting because of the new policies that are being enforced in the airports and maybe even the procedures for connecting us to the ship. I don't know. At this point, I guess everything will be quite a new experience. So stand by for it. Seafarer Vlog Season 3. Here we go.